Hey, how's it going? So whether you're new to the game and just testing it out, or if you just create a free-to-play alt account because you don't have enough gold for a bond, it's still possible to make money on a fairly new account that has very low stats. I also understand that we don't always want to have to pay attention to the game, and a lot of people, including myself, especially myself, can't stand click-intensive methods of training or money-making. So today I'm going to be showing you in no particular order five, okay, let me try to say this right, <clears throat> five AFK free to play low requirement money making methods. And all these methods will net you some really good XP, so don't feel like you're wasting time by doing these. So to start off, we're gonna be crafting gold amulets, which only requires level eight crafting. And you're also gonna need an amulet mold along with as many gold bars as you can afford. The best furnace to use in free to play is the one in Al Karid, so go to the bank, withdraw the amulet mold and 27 gold bars, and walk to the furnace just north. The reason I say walk there is because you weigh 49 kilograms on your way there carrying all the gold bars but on your way back the gold amulets will make you weigh zero. Run energy is precious and free to play so you gotta be smart with it. Use your gold bar on the furnace to make the 27 gold bars and then you just gotta wait. Doing this method will get you around 25k GP per hour and 30k crafting XP per hour which is pretty good for free to play. So you can see here that the profit per bar is about 25 GP each which means each inventory you're gonna profit about 650 GP. Next up is Sapphire Rings. The requirement for this is 20 crafting, and you're gonna need a ring mold and an even split between gold bars and cut sapphires. Al Karid still has the best furnace, so you're gonna to go to the bank there, withdraw your ring mold, 13 gold bars, and 13 sapphires. And again, you're gonna to wanna to walk on your way to the furnace and run on your way back to the bank. Conserving run energy is even more important to use for this method because you're gonna be doing twice as many trips because you're only making half the amount of things per inventory. Just like before, you're gonna use your gold bar on the furnace and sit back while your character does all the hard work. This method is less AFK than making gold amulets, but you can expect to make two to three times the amount of profit, or 50 to 75k GP per hour depending on the current Grand Exchange prices. And depending on those Grand Exchange prices, you can expect to make about 1 to 1.5k profit per inventory. Although the XP is slightly lower, and it comes out to around 25k XP per hour, but it's still really good crafting XP for free to play. For the third method now, we're going to be making iron bars, and the requirement for this is level 15 smithing, and you're going to want a bunch of iron ore. What you're going to do is withdraw a full inventory of iron ores from the Al Karid bank. Same deal for this method too, you should be walking to the furnace and running coming back. Use your iron bar on the furnace and just wait. The thing about smelting iron bars is that you have a 50-50 chance of it either smelting or being destroyed. So on average you'll be getting 14 iron bars per inventory, and some inventories you might lose money, and others you'll profit more than you should. But in the long term you'll be getting one iron bar for every two iron ores. On average you should expect to get around 10 to 15k GP and about 5k smithing XP per hour, which I mean yeah isn't really that great, but there aren't that many profitable ways to get smithing XP in free to play at such a low level. If you're a member you can buy rings of forging which will greatly increase the profit and XP per hour by preventing the ores from being destroyed. I just wanted to mention that, but because this is a free to play guide you don't need to worry about that. For the fourth method it's going to be cooking trout, and you can replace trout with any low level fish like sardines, anchovies, salmon. But at the time that I'm making this video, trout is the most profitable. The best way to cook in free to play is to make your own fires next to a bank. Usually the GE would be the most convenient so you can quickly buy and sell fish, which could help a lot if you don't have much starting capital. To start cooking trout, you only need level 15 cooking. You stop burning trout at level 50 cooking, but as long as you don't burn more than 4 or 5 trout per inventory, you'll still be making profit. Level 50 is only about 100k XP, and cooking is an extremely fast skill to train, which is why I'm including this as a low level requirement. You'll get 70 XP per trout that you cook, and you should be able to cook at least 900 per hour, so you're looking at a minimum of 60k XP per hour. The current margin of profit is only 5 GP per trout, so it's going to be a little under 5k GP profit per hour. And I know it's really not that good for GP, but for the amount of XP that you're getting and that you make profit, it's not that terrible. For the fifth and final method, we're going to be cutting oak trees, which you'll need 15 wood cutting and the best axe you can use. The best places in free to play to cut them are just west of Iraq, just east of Iraq, and just east of the Drainer Village Bank. Oak logs are mainly used by members who are making planks for construction, so they're always in high demand and give a very good profit for a skill with such low requirements. The profit will vary a lot though, it all depends on your level and how many bots, I, I mean people you're competing with to cut the trees. But the XP and the GP per hour are about the same, and you can expect around 20 to 40k of each per hour. And you can see right here that you'll get about 1200 GP per inventory, which isn't too bad, this is a really stable method. So that's going to wrap it up. I know free to play can seem very limiting, but there can be some okay methods out there. And I'd like to wish you good luck.
luck if you're just starting the game and you're going to have a really good time. Just try to enjoy yourself. And if you're making an alt account, I'd like to wish you good luck on there on working towards a bond or any other goals that you might have with it. My clan chat and mudkip is open too in case anyone wants to come in and chill. And if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please give it a like. It helps me know what kind of videos to make in the future. If you'd like to see more from me, then please subscribe. It really does mean a lot. And I'd like to thank you very much for watching the video and I will see you again soon.